this is like definitely don't do this if i purchase a 10 milliliter vial of uh, the scipionate for my trt it would uh, last me about four months uh, on a weekly dose of 125 per week uh, would the rubber stopper and the testosterone be good uh, within that time frame yeah definitely the the rubber stopper when it comes to you know pharmaceutical testosterone uh expiring you know breaking down over time it's not something that's going to like sour and go off like milk would it's something that would arguably lose potency or potentially it could hypothetically lose sterility i guess but the real issue that guys are going to have with long-term storage of testosterone scipionate if they're not following like the advice that we talk about in this group is using too big of a needle to punch a hole in the top and compromising the airtight nature of the vial doing that over and over again could cause issues but yeah if someone's going through a 10 mil vial of testosterone using 125 milligrams per week no way are they going to have an issue with that rubber stopper breaking down that would take multiple months potentially multiple years to occur so no not, not a concern he also writes i read that the carrier all can dissolve the rubber stopper over time plus if i use ampules perhaps i can preload syringes how would the storage process work in those scenarios I guess the only hypothetical problem for breaking down the rubber stopper would be if you stored the testosterone upside down. So it was constantly pushing against the, the stopper, which I don't know why you would do that. Um, the stopper wouldn't be touching the testosterone because of the air at the top. So um, I don't think that would be an issue unless it was potentially laying down for very long periods of time. Um, I do wonder if, um, and I, I mean this very respectfully to the original poster of these kind of questions are manifestations of anxiety. Um, when it comes to um storing testosterone in syringes a lot of guys do this particularly in australia because they're using the bayer uh preloaded primatestin syringes which uh i guess a bit more convenient than ampules because you can cap them but the problem with ampules is once you crack it open you've got a whole mill that you that is essentially become non-sterile instantly and a lot of guys will have the solution of you know storing this in insulin syringes to then use for their next injections I strongly advise against doing this because this is what will break the rubber stopper down in the syringes. If that's what he's referring to, that's a real problem. I may have misinterpreted the question. If that's the concern, very real concern. I've seen guys do this and send me photos because they'll unknowingly do it. If they're like going away for a week or going away for two weeks, they'll just, for some reason, they don't want to take their vial. So they'll preload a bunch of syringes. And you can see by the end of it, the oil becomes discolored in the syringe because that preservative is, yes, breaking down the rubber stopper. And potentially it's also breaking down the wall lining of the syringe. So you'd be injecting plastics and all kinds of crap into the body. Insulin syringes are not like I know that there's a bunch of clinics in the States that are selling like preloaded insulin syringes of, of other stuff as well. This is like definitely don't do this maybe overnight 24 hours you could get away with it but i couldn't think of a situation in which that would be necessary if you're using ampules it, it's even not advised that people do this because as soon as you crack the ampule it's not sterile so even if you draw and then inject it into a vial that has the potential to cause an infection but if people are going to store testosterone after cracking an ampule which most people will because they're not going to be pinning a whole ampule at once because we talk about why that's not a good idea the only way that you can do this and it's still not recommended but it's the best option of all of them is you have to transfer it into a sterile vial sterile vials are easy to get a pharmacy should be able to order one in for you um you shouldn't even have to find one online you should be able to buy one from a pharmacy but it needs to be transferred into a sterile vial yes it's cumbersome to draw and inject and load and so forth but that's why we don't really recommend ampules a lot of the guys in the uk will use sustenon because the ampules are real cheap I guess if that's if that's worth your time to do, then that might be a good option. But that's the downside of ampules. But yeah, don't store testosterone in insulin syringes.